On Friday, 40 containers washed overboard in stormy weather in the open ocean off the Strait of Juan de Fuca. By Saturday, a hazardous chemicals fire broke out on the same ship, the Zim Kingston, by this time near Victoria, B.C. I'm just glad right now the vessel is whole and we're not also dealing with an oil spill. Fred Fellman is a maritime consultant, environmentalist, and Port of Seattle commissioner, and he finds the situation concerning. It is what's happened to the Zim Kingston a bit of a wake-up call. You know, the last thing we need is our own L.A. pipeline incident as a consequence of port congestion. The problem of backed up cargo ships is easy to visualize in the open ocean just beyond the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, California. Here in Washington, we've had ships at anchor from Elliott Bay off Seattle to Whidbey Island's Holmes Harbor. And yes, ships like the one you just saw waiting in the open ocean. We couldn't take in cameras, but retired Coast Guard Captain Laird Hall took me into the Secure Vessel Traffic Center. Inside, it still pretty much looks like this photo the Coast Guard provided. It's a place that tracks ships. And to keep fewer vessels on the open ocean, like the Zim Kingston, this morning saw 12 vessels steaming at slow speed in a racetrack oval in the western part of the Strait of Juan de Fuca. We let uh, their agents and the ships themselves know that we had additional anchorages that we had opened up and that they would be able to do racetracks in the Strait. But it's up to the master whether to accept the, that option, and the master is responsible to make sure that he maintains safety of his vessel. Now right over here is Terminal 46, and Fellowman and the Port of Seattle say there are two more anchorages here where ships can dock before they're unloaded, um, and so far there have been no takers on that, but the whole idea here is if they can get these ships off the open ocean rather than just sort of going around there. The Coast Guard today said courtesy of the Suquamish tribe, they were able to open up another four anchorages here in Puget Sound. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.